It's Al Crespo again. So I want to talk to you about the CRAs in Miami. You know, the community redevelopment agencies in Miami, like in a lot of other places in the state of Florida, have been nothing but slush funds for the politicians who sit on these boards that, that, that control them. And that's really been true in Miami. Back in 2010, the very first story I did about a CRA was about how Commissioner Sarnoff and then Commissioner Dunn, along with Peter Botwig, who was the executive director for, for both CRAs at the time, were all ready to give away all the land in Overtown. Lots 45, 55, 56, 23, you know, the whole parcel of all these lots in, in Overtown that are empty. They were going to give it to a guy named Matthew Greer. Matthew Greer, that's the same guy that you read about today in the Miami Herald as being under federal investigation for screwing the pooch with all that tax increment money he got to build all these big high-rises in Miami. And they were going to do that. Fortunately, my little stories managed to put a little kibosh on that. And then I've spent a fair amount of time writing about what's happened recently with Overtown and lots 45, 55, and 56, and how skanky that deal is. I spent a lot of time writing about that Robert Townsend movie and how really skanky that deal was. All of these deals have to do with public money. Now, there's a lot of public money available to these CRAs, and I contend that they've never really spent that money wisely. I mean, for those folks who drive around 14th Street, all you got to do is look at the, at the Two Brothers restaurant sitting there on the corner of 14th Street and Northwest 3rd Avenue. It's been empty since the day they, they, they put paint on it. That's $240,000 of CRA money that just got pissed away. There's other examples of CRA money got pissed away. So, I want to talk to you right now about what might happen after the election in November. Now, I'm not a guy to tell you who to vote for, right? There's four candidates out there. you got a choice. But I am going to tell you about one guy who I don't think you should vote for, and that's Reverend Commissioner Richard Dunn. Now, Richard Dunn is the same guy who I think all of you know got busted when his uncle turned him in for stealing money from the collection plate in his church. And Richard Dunn is the same guy who, when Michelle Spence Jones got reinstated to the commission, the first words out of his mouth were, Hey, can I get paid for the rest of the term I'm not going to serve? This is that Richard Dunn. So he's out there running to get back on the commission because he's another pig who understands that there's money to be made at the trough here. And the person who's supporting him the most is none other than Commissioner Sarnoff. Commissioner Sarnoff held a big fundraiser for him at his law firm. Commissioner Sarnoff told the folks at Biscayne Times that he was going to walk around and knock on doors to try to get Commissioner Dunn to get reelected. Well, there's a reason why Commissioner Sarnoff is doing all this. Because it's Commissioner Sarnoff's plan, if Dunn gets reelected, to make him his sock puppet again. A sock puppet is of somebody who's got somebody else's hand stuck up their ass and does what that hand tells them to do. And that's what Richard Dunn is. He's a sock puppet. He's had Rigolato's hand up his ass. He's had Sarnoff's hand up his ass. And the whole time he was a city commissioner, he did what they told him to do. And what Sarnoff wants Richard Dunn to do if he gets elected is to agree to allow the Southeast Overtown Park West CRA to be folded back in with the Omni CRA so that Peter Botwig can become the executive director of both of those organizations again. And you know what a great job he, Peter Botwig did the last time he was the executive director of those organizations. Yeah, he was the one who was trying to give Matthew Greer all that money. And the reason why Sarnoff wants to do this is because if we know, so we've learned one thing from, about Sarnoff is that when it comes to money, boy, he's the biggest pig in the trough, right? He's the one who smells that money and will go right to it and he will elbow everybody out the way and he's going to make sure that he gets control of the money. And that's what he wants to do because right now, 
The Omni CRA is just about broke. They don't have any money to spend. But the Southeast Overtown Park West CRA has got $47 million in bond money coming. And they got all these other little deals that are going on. And so what Sarnoff wants to do is make sure that his friends and pals get cut into the deals. And the only way that he can do that is to get stupid Richard Dunn to agree to let the Southeast Overtown Park West CRA get folded into the other CRA so that Peter Botwig, who's Sarnoff's butt boy, can, can, can arrange and do all the deals. So that doesn't bode well for folks in Overtown. Right? Now, the CRA, the Southeast Overtown Park West CRA on its own doesn't bode well for the, CRA, for, for the folks in Overtown either. Unless you all try to think about who you're going to vote for and try to get somebody in there who's not going to sell the farm out the first day they walk in the door. Right? That money should have, could have, would have been spent on things that benefited you folks. And it hasn't been. It's been spent on benefits for the people who got the money. And it didn't benefit you all. So I, like I say, I can't tell you who to vote for. But if you all vote for Richard Dunn, and he turns around and lets Mr. Sarnoff take that CRA back and do whatever he wants to, you all are going to get screwed really, really bad. And at that point, don't come to me and say, hey, Al. You know, you know that God stands up for us and writes all that stuff. Because I'm just telling you this in the video. You know, that's the best I can do, folks. I can't run for office in District 5. If I could, I'd run for city commissioner and see what I could do. But I can't do that. So please, for your sake, see what you can do. Think about who you're going to vote for. But don't vote for Richard Dunn. Because he's just bad news. Thank you.